Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And today we're gonna to be doing something that uh, I've actually wanted to put in a video for a long time. We're doing a handwriting test in between the Surface Pro, Go, and Book. So uh, when you're working in OneNote and a lot of people want to get a Surface device for taking notes, what's the difference? Is it exactly the same? Is there big differences, little differences? Well, that's what we're gonna to do today. I should make it pretty clear by the end of this uh, how each of them responds in one um, in note taking in one note. So I'm gonna write the same test, uh, same test sentence in all of these so you guys can see uh, how it works. Now, uh, one thing, yeah, it's real creative. Uh, that's what I came up with on the spot. So one thing uh, that all of these are gonna have set that's gonna be different probably than the, the device you're using is, let's see here. We're gonna go to the Surface app and we're gonna make sure that this is set to three. If I set this up to seven, which is where it is by default, uh, for in here, you're going to see a black line basically all the time. Now if we set it over to three, you're going to see a lot of gradient change. And that pressure curve is going to actually look, make it look like you're drawing with a pencil. And it feels really nice. So that's what we're going to do. All right, on to the Surface Go. All right, here we are on the Surface Go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so it's similar to the zoom level, and this actually does make a difference. All right, and now on to the Surface Book. All right, here we are on the Surface Book 2, 15 inch. And this thing just feels so expansive after using the Go. All right, so I'm going to try and do this a little bit the same way here. I don't think I'm using the right drawing tools. I'm not. All right, so now let's analyze these three. So here, the top one, uh, what I'm looking for is placement of the words on the line. So if you notice that the top one here is fairly centered on the line, uh, in older versions, depending on the zoom level actually that you use, you're gonna see that some of the words float above the line a little bit more, like you'll notice here on the Surface Book, I'm trying to write on the line and all of these words are just a little bit above it. Yeah, the beginning is, is okay. This middle one is pretty centered on the line. This top one also fairly well centered on the line. Uh, I've noticed in the past, again, that, that that was kind of a bigger issue. The um, Surface Go was kind of truncating the size of the, the letters. Okay, so here, uh, what you're going to see on the Surface Go, is you're going to see these little hooks here at the end. And let's pick a highlighting color. So you can see a little hook. Hook, little hook. Uh, that my 
just my handwriting little hook hook um, I'm writing take but hook hook okay you notice that in the top one like this T right here does not have a hook no hook no hook hook um so anyway that's the point and go through every single <laughs> we try to drive everyone mad why is he torturing us what did we do all right so then here in the surface book and the surface pro uh, you're not seeing that same problem just a surface go. So, here, let's label these on the side so you guys can see it. Go, pro, book, this is six, four, GB, two, 15 inch. Okay, this is uh, I5. Okay, so for note taking, uh, you're gonna find, really honestly, if you're just taking notes, who cares? I, the writing experience is really fast and smooth. It's not difficult to use, it's very light. Um, carrying it around is probably gonna make a bigger difference. One thing to note is really the size of these devices does matter. Like if you're walking around, I take notes um, when I go to church primarily, and then I have a Chinese class that I go to. When I'm taking notes and I have a massive Surface Book 2, honestly, it's, it's uncomfortably awkward. <laughs> I, feel, I feel weird um, taking notes on a Surface Book. It's just really big. The Surface Pro 6 is okay. I think like if I were in college and, and all of the books were about the same size, probably would not be a big deal. Um, the Surface Go is roughly the size of like the church bulletins or like a small notebook. And so it feels the most comfortable to take notes with, but it does occasionally, it does occasionally lose strokes. And so you'll be writing and then you'll have one part of the word that doesn't show up and it lags behind a little bit. Um, I don't know if there's a way specifically to fix that easily, but something to consider when you guys are looking at, at purchasing a device uh, for note-taking. Differences there. Let's do a little pressure test. And... Uh, I'm just gonna go... And then we'll do a quick... So you guys can see here, kind of the ramping of pressure. So the initial activation force here. Oops, let's switch that. Though I'm using the pen tool from Tablet Pro to undo strokes. And uh, OneNote uses uh, Tilt, obviously, is here, so you can see it makes a difference. And on the Surface Go, let's demonstrate Tilt. Here. And it does, like I said before, it does actually matter quite a bit whether you are zoomed in or not. I will try and demonstrate that. A little more tilted there, so we'll do just 
Just the medium, the tilted strokes. All right, so uh, this is, I think, a pretty good idea, a uh, pretty good demonstration of what OneNote looks like on all the different devices. All three support tilt. Uh, all three, you're saying, I'm gonna do this one more time on the Surface Go. Give it, oops, I erased the wrong one. No, I didn't. Oh, it just didn't populate. Okay, there we go. So definitely does not pick up the low end as well. So I'm trying to do a real, a real light stroke here. It just doesn't show up here the same way as it does on the Pro 6 and the Book 2. Um, so if you guys are looking at it, it's you're still going to be able to do quite a bit. Obviously, massive price difference. Surface Go 4 gigabyte and the Surface Book 2 15 inch. Uh, I think it's like eight of these devices uh, for around the same price as the Book 2 15 inch. Uh, some models, anyway. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you guys have questions specific to these three devices, please ask. I'm going to be making some more videos shortly, so please subscribe. And I believe the next video is top five drawing programs for Windows. All right, thanks. And, uh, well, I'm sorry, I should rephrase that. Under a hundred dollars. <laughs> As some of them are just so astronomically expensive. Uh, Coral Painter, I'm talking about you. Alright, until next time, stay creative. Thanks for watching.